Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Darren Taylor. And today I'm joined with the host of another show here on Trojan Vision, Scott Bollier, host of eConversations, also director of the Johnson Center for Political Economy here at Troy University. Scott, thanks for joining me today. Thank you. Great to be here. And as I mentioned, uh, a host of another show. We're mm -hmm. uh, going to do a little cross promotion here with another show here on Trojan Vision, eConversations. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a product of both Trojan Vision and the uh, Johnson Center. Uh, yep. Tell us a little bit about uh, how this all came about, uh, this eConversations program. Yeah. So. It's actually a story of um, your department being very entrepreneurial and wanting to add to their lineup of programming and our center having a mission that uh, fits in well with what you guys are trying to do over here. Uh, we want to reach the um, just average individual out there watching television, students, and then scholars as well. And part of reaching them um, is to get some of the ideas and uh, core philosophies that the center believes in out there to them through television and e-conversations is a show which is simply a conversation with guests that we have on each week uh, talking about themes of economic freedom limited government the scale and scope of our government what it's doing uh, and also local issues that affect um, people here in Alabama immigration I think is a show that we're going to do in the future we're also going to talk about the retirement system of Alabama and its future um, shows like that that take on uh, some of the hard questions that affect people as their lives relate to economic issues. And of um, course, uh, when the Johnson Center was established, mm -hmm. uh, obviously there was a mission put forth to educate not only choice students, but the public. Mm -hmm. And obviously, uh, this seems like it's an ideal route to yeah. follow that last part of, of uh, educating the public. Yeah. The resources and facilities we have here are um, something I just, you know, I'm, I'm amazed. I stepped into it and I can get experience and a chance to get the ideas out through this medium that a lot of schools don't have. Um, we're not only hoping to hit and um, affect people here in Alabama, but also through YouTube and um, the Troy website, get the word out on a more national and perhaps international stage as well. So. And of course, uh, you are an economist, mm -hmm. uh, an educator, mm -hmm. uh, so being a television host is, is probably a little new to you, right? Uh, very new. I've, I've done interviews where you know people are just kind of attacking your research. <laughs> uh, I've done a lot of radio, um, but this is, this is very new. We, you know, kind of looking at cameras and figuring out which one is uh, shooting on you, and it's, it's a little awkward, um, but I, I think it actually is a really rewarding experience. It forces you to really hone in on what you're trying to say. Uh, to cut out a lot of the extras from your ordinary conversation, like the words like, like, <laughs> like, which is a habit and and um, you know, and just become more polished um, as you do it. And I think it'll have benefits in terms of our programming here, but also, you know, when I, I do interviews elsewhere, I'll walk into them a lot more comfortable. A little more yeah. comfortable. And yeah. it, but it also provides a little bit of opportunities for uh, the faculty mm -hmm. and, and the other members of the Johnson Center to That's be right. able to get some of this valuable experience for, for future work. Yeah, I, I did some of my first interviews um, as an economist on a pretty big stage and never had any experience like this. And let me tell you, it was scary. You know, <laughs> you, you walk in and you're in this room with just a blank screen and you're being told, go. And uh, it's very nerve wracking um, to, to do that. And hopefully um, this is helping train uh, our scholars and uh, center fellows up in in how to do media work and uh, to get their ideas across in a way that um, is coherent and that has them feeling comfortable about um, getting right to the point. And of course, uh, regardless of uh, your performance on the show, mm -hmm. uh, as a director of the Johnson Center, this must feel a little bit of pride mm -hmm. in being able to show off what your yeah. center has to offer. Yeah, it, it's great uh, in that it's um, helping um, us deliver on our mission. It gives us a chance to showcase some of the ideas we've been spinning around with intellectually and just test them out on viewers and the lay audience. And a lot of our viewers are students who tune in and uh, just happen to be channel surfing and they see their professor and they think that's pretty neat too. Yeah. And it, well, talk a little about the, the audience mm -hmm. response. Obviously it's, it's been on for a little while now and mm -hmm. I would think that you've gotten a little bit of response from the people who are watching. Yeah, very positive response. I think we've shot eight episodes now, maybe nine. Um, we've had um, business executives like John Allison uh, on the show. We've had uh, my dean and my colleagues in the center along with other people uh, on the show. And the general reaction within the university is one of excitement. They think it's a really valuable broadcast. Um, people in the community too 
I think it's really important that we're um, you know, presenting ideas that people need to hear. And of course, uh, you mentioned a lot of the, the faculty and university family have been a part of the mm -hmm. show and guests on the show yep. uh, and you, you've had a couple of, of non-university uh, right. people right. as guests on the show but obviously I would think that there seems to there would be a, a wealth of individuals as future guests yep. that are outside of the university community mm -hmm. that the public would want to hear from. Yeah we would like to get some state representatives uh, on the show some people who are business people as well uh, involved in you know creating jobs here in the um, in the central Alabama area Area. And, uh, you know, anyone who's, you know, just wanting to uh, come on and, you know, stand behind their ideas, whether we agree with them or not, you know, we'd like to do a show on immigration. We'd gladly take someone who's um, opposed to the immigration bill or someone who's strongly in favor mm -hmm. of it and just have a good conversation, as the show's title suggests. And, of course, expand yeah. the message. Yep. And, and the main point here is that the viewing public mm -hmm gets an understanding of economics. That's right. And obviously, but that means you probably have to distill some ideas to make it a little more user-friendly yep. for the viewing audience. Yeah, we try to bring it down uh, to a level that someone who's had no economics can still wa tune into the show and get what we're talking about. I don't know that we're completely successful at that, but that's what we're aiming to do. And we do it through um, data that people can understand, you know, just looking at a chart of how much the government has grown in the 20th century and into the 21st century. And that's something that anyone can look at and say, I get what they're talking about, you know, or what is the government spending money on? Um, these are things that I think at a very fundamental level concern people, and we're trying to address those concerns and put them in perspective. And of course, uh, viewers can tune in to eConversations yep. to see all of these uh, topics and to learn a little bit about economy, distilled down <laughs> for the, the lay person out there. Uh, when uh, can they see it here on Trojan? It's on 7 and 9.30, uh, 7 and 9.30 on Monday nights. Okay. Um, and I think we're, we're going to just keep running some of the uh, shows we've put together in the event we don't have a guest okay. um, for one of the shows. Well, yeah. uh, good luck with the uh, rest of the run. Thank and you. Hopefully, uh, some folks out there will learn a little bit about the economy and uh, yeah. keep on watching. Thank so. you. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you.